All right, hey everybody, Evan here from devasun.com. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Svelte. So what exactly is Svelte? Well, it's a compiler for creating reactive interfaces or web apps. So Svelte is kind of similar to React and Vue. However, the main difference here is that Svelte is a compiler and not a framework. So that's the main difference when it comes to Svelte is that unlike React and Vue, which are what you would consider frameworks, Svelte is simply a compiler. It compiles your code to just vanilla JavaScript and it does so at build time. So you don't need any extra libraries or scripts when you're shipping to production it's all just bundled into one single file and because of that it often results in just faster running websites because there is less bulkiness to it now before we get started there's a couple of prerequisites that you're going to need to know you should know basic html and css uh, you should know basic javascript and i have a tutorial for javascript actually on my youtube channel if you want to go check that out and Svelte also requires Node.js version 8 or higher. So if you don't have Node.js, you're going to need to head over to nodejs.org and you can just download. You can download either the current or the latest uh, long term support build. Either one of these will work. And the last thing I'm using for this tutorial is VS Code. And we're going to use an extension with inside VS Code, which is a Svelte extension made by Svelte, just to help improve the experience when coding in VS Code. VS Code is completely free. You don't have to purchase anything. You can just go ahead and click the download for your uh, operating system. And then once you have VS Code installed, you can actually just go to the extensions panel here on the left and type in Svelte. And you're gonna see Svelte for VS Code by Svelte. And you're just gonna wanna go ahead and install this. And once you do that, everything should be good to go. And of course, last but not least, I'm gonna have all the code on GitHub if you wanna go check that out, if you wanna look at the code or anything like that. But with that said, let's go ahead and actually install our Svelte app. All right, so I just have a console window open up here. And right now I'm in my tutorial directory that I have set up on my desktop you can set this up wherever you want just remember wherever you run this command it's going to create a folder in that directory that you're currently inside now the command you're going to want to run is npx digit svelte.js slash template and this last section here is going to be what you want to call your project directory so let's go ahead i'm going to call this uh svelte tutorial. Once again, you're going to need Node.js for this. So you can use NPM or NPX here. And then let's go ahead and hit enter. And now you're going to see that we cloned the Svelte.js template GitHub repo to our Svelte tutorial folder here. Now let's go ahead and go inside that folder. I'm going to type CD and then Svelte tutorial here. And now once we're inside our Svelte tutorial, we're going to want to type NPM install. And this is going to install all our node module dependencies. And now that we have that done, let's go ahead and type NPM run dev this is going to boot up our server and it's going to be hosted on our local host 5000 port so let's go ahead and go to that right now all right and now you can see i'm at local host port 5000 here and we can see hello world visit the svelte tutorial to learn how to build svelte apps and if we actually open up vs code i'm going to open up our svelte tutorial folder here we're going to see a couple things here we're going to see our node modules folder so when we ran npm install we installed all of these node modules you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, basically, if you go to our package.json, it basically just installed all of these here under dev dependencies. And if we go to our SRC folder here, we're going to see two files, main.js and app.svelte. Let's go look at our main.js here. And this is the main file here, which Svelte basically uses to start our app. You can see here we're importing our app from app.svelte, which is this file here. I'll go into this in a second. And here we have a couple things. So here we have our target. This is basically telling Svelte where we want to insert our code here inside of our dom for now i'm just going to leave this as the body of the html in the future i might go into different examples of inserting different targets here but for now we're just going to use the body that's fine and another big thing with svelte is going to be props since this is a little bit more complex so i'm not going to go into props at the moment here but we will go into that in later videos in the series and at the bottom here we're just exporting our app so now if we go to app.svelte we're going to see three main things here we got our script tags up here this section here is where we display our HTML and everything onto our actual website. And at the bottom here, we have our style, and this is where we can add some CSS styling to our elements here. And lastly, if we go to our public folder, this is going to be where we build to when we build to production. So in the build folder here, we're gonna see two things. We're gonna see our bundle.js and our bundle.css. And basically, this is what everything compiles into. At the beginning of this video, I told you that Svelte 
is a compiler, so it's just going to compile all of our code into one single JS file, which in this case is bundle.js. And there's also bundle.css, uh, that's just for styling. And everything else in our public folder is basically just some external stuff. If we want to have a favicon or other images, uh, we have our global CSS, our index.html. And if you remember in our source folder on our main.js, we are targeting the document.body here to insert our app. So if you look at our index.html, we see our body tags here. So basically what main.js is doing is inserting that code into these two tags right here. So when we actually build, it's going to insert all of that markup into our body tags here. And so yeah, that is basically the setup for Svelte.js. If you need any help, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the DevAscend Discord server and either myself or someone else can help you out there. But in any case, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If the video helped you out, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. But that's going to do it for me today, and I'll see you in the next video.